Hello and welcome to a video about PoE. It's not really going to be me playing PoE. Um, I, I just figured something out and I figured, uh, you know, it, it was kind of difficult to put it together completely. So I thought I'd like to make a video and just show exactly how to do it because I know some people might have some questions and I'm going to do it fairly quickly to make it a very short and sweet video. Uh, what I'm talking about is making a custom item filter, sound filter. What I'm going to teach you is just how to make custom sounds for your item filters. You know, if you go to, for example, um, something like a divine orb, right? All these different sounds to pick from. And a lot of these sounds are like the base setting for filter blade. And, you know, you, you can do some pretty cool customization with these options. There's also uh, like community sounds with all these crazy setups. I don't really know who he is. Well, I know who he is. That's just kind of annoying, but it, let's say you want to make your own sound, right? So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of program to record a sound and save it very easily. And a really good program for that is Audacity. Audacity is completely free and it's super easy to use. Um, so just Google Audacity and download. It's completely safe. It's totally fine. Here is how it works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you set up the fact that you are able to record your uh, audio coming from your PC in some way. It's kind of confusing, but if you fiddle around with it, depending on what you have for your headphones or whatever, oftentimes I find that it's easy to just do a loop back. So basically whatever you're hearing in your headphones is going to be what the software is hearing for recording. It's very simple. And next thing to do, so I'm gonna show you, I, I'm gonna do one with Carl Weezer. I have some uh, open slots here on my filter to do one with a um, fragment. So I'm gonna put this on the fragments. I'm gonna have him saying croissant. So <laughs> all you have to do is just start recording and turn the volume up pretty loud on the YouTube video or whatever you get the audio from and then just play it. to finish that croissant. So that's all we need. Now when you go back in, you can stop recording and this is everything we have here. This is probably gonna be croissant. Croissant. Right, so you can just uh, basically select everything that you don't need and delete it and then select everything after the audio delete that and the next thing you're going to want to do is really get this just to where he says croissant croissant so that's all you need croissant it's perfect but you also are going to want to select it and make it loud so amplify so when you amplify it you can see obviously it changes croissant and that's pretty perfect but what you can notice is that this level went up really high if the levels max out and it's like all at the top, like if I were to fucking amplify it again, did that do anything? Oh, it was at zero. So something like this is going to be painful to the ears and I'm not gonna play it because I don't wanna hurt your ears. But if you see something that looks like this, you're probably not gonna wanna have that in. So just keep it like this where it's close to leveling out, it's loud enough that it's gonna get your attention when you're playing the game. Because you have to make these things loud. When you're running through maps and you're listening to the normal game sounds, if you do play with game sounds, uh, you're going to want to to be able to actually hear the thing that drops. You know, Custom sounds are cool, but if, if, if you're like losing the purpose of what an item filter is, something that gets your attention whenever you drop something, especially if it happened like off screen, you're going to need it to be loud. So this looks pretty perfect. Croissant! And it sounds good. So... The next thing you're going to want to do, before you save this file, you're going to go to Filter Blade. You're going to take your item filter and download your item filter. Uh, a lot of people, I know I didn't have it downloaded at first. I was just uploading it or syncing it with the uh, with my PoE account. So it wasn't actually ever downloaded onto my PC. So you're going to have to um, go to Option 2, Download File, download your filter, and then it will be right here under this path, Path of Exile. And this is where your filter is going to be. So this is the filter itself. And the only thing you need to do is put the sounds in the same folder where the filter is. You don't have to attach the sounds to the filter file or nothing like that. You literally have to just have the sound files in the folder with the filter. And then the filter itself is going to pick from the folder and take those files. So knowing that, what we can do here is go back into Audacity, export the selected audio. So make sure you select it first. 
and you export it as a WAV file. Actually, I'm going to name it something more simple. I'm going to name it Fragment because it's going to be on my, my map fragments. Um, that's it. That's all you got to do. Name it Fragment. And then once it's named, you go back to your filter. You go to Customize. You go to um, wh what you want to change. So Map Fragments. And I'm going to have this be the uh, Tier 2 or Tier 3 Fragment Sounds. So go to Sound. Go to Custom. And then all you got to do is type in the, fil the file name. So Fragment. And then make sure you type in the full file. So wa .wav. That's important. It has to be the full file. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a different sound for the Tier 1 and... Oh, it's Pure. Okay. Anyways. So I'm going to have Carl Weezer screaming for the even better ones. So I found this uh, file, which sounds pretty good. So I'm going to go back to recording, get rid of this, start recording again. And that's perfect. That's all I wanted right there. OK, uh, this, this little bit at the end here is not necessary. It's like the music. One more thing I would like to point out is you could, you could hear there's music in the background. There's like a little bit of music. So a good way to sort of get the music out of the sound is to go to bass and treble and just lower the bass because a lot of music is bass and the voice of Carl Weezer screaming is treble, more or less. So if you lower the bass right here, you're going to hear Carl Weezer screaming a little bit more prominently and you're going to hear the music a little bit less. <coughs> just a little bit, just, just enough to make it, you know, doable. And then I'm going to amplify it again, make sure it looks pretty good. <coughs> Beautiful to fragment two. That's it. So once you've made some changes, you're going to go up to save and load, and you're going to save the filter. So that saves the changes, and then you are going to sync it. So now you're going to sync it with your account, hit the update button, and you'll see successfully updated filter. Now you can go into game. I cannot do this yet. I have the audio turned off except for dialogue and whatever. Go to UI, scroll down, Make sure you have your correct filter selected and hit the update button and it will say item filter loaded successfully. If you see a message here that says something other than successful, um, you might have you might have fucked up the uh, name of the file or something like that or maybe you didn't put the files in the right location. Um, you could notice that I was saving them, I was exporting them from Audacity directly into the folder that it was supposed to go into. I had to set that up myself. Normally, when you export from Audacity, it's not going to go to your Path of Exile folder. So make sure you change the path of where you're exporting it from Audacity into the Path of Exile folder. Or you can just do it somewhere else and drag it in yourself. But now this should be working, and I'm going to drop this, and we should hear Carl Weezer. Croissant. Beautiful. <laughs> That's all it takes. It's super simple. It's, it, it updates very quickly, and um, it's just fun to do. Um, the only thing left to say is make sure you really tweak the volume levels. So set up the filter that you think is going to be good, play a few maps, and you might notice like, oh, that's a little quiet or that's not loud enough. And then all you have to do, so the, the great thing about the way this works is the, the uh, item filter picks from this folder. So let's say I wanted something to be a little bit louder. All you have to do is take this file. Let's say I wanted this to be a little bit louder. So you just drag it into Audacity. It'll give you the entire file. LeBron James. <laughs> it's pretty loud already. But let's if you want it to be louder, you could just you could uh, select all, uh, amplify it or whatever. Maybe turn it down if it's too if it's too loud. So let's pretend I've changed it. And then once you export it under the same name, it'll ask you, you know, hey, this is the same name. Do you want to just replace it? You will then just replace the file, and that's all you need to do. You don't have to go back to the item filter. You don't have to go back to the you know filter blade. All you need to do is change the file itself, and then the item filter will immediately pick that file, uh, the updated version. So it's pretty simple. Uh, changing the volume is uh, pretty simple. That's all I'm really trying to say here. Um, that's it. That's all I really wanted to say about this. It's super easy, super fun to do. And now I'm just going to show off my item filter a little bit. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I think that's all I, I think that's all I got on this one. 
Wazard. A little bit of Vsauce, a little bit of RuneScape, a little bit of Fortnite, a little bit of uh, this guy yelling penis. That's it. Uh, that, that's all I wanted to say. Uh, I hope it helped. I hope I showed everything well enough. Um, so, you know, have some fun. Get yourself your uh, interesting and funny filters.